These are some serious accusations, causing severe and even possibly deadly harm to patients. The Tucson doctor had taken a new job with the government-run BC Cancer Agency in Canada. But when they started investigating his methods, he quit and came back here. Patient after patient. Accusations the doctor took risky chances with his patients' lives. Deviation of standard of care might have contributed to an earlier death. In other words, they say Dr. Suresh Katakar broke the rules and that his treatments may have caused patients to die before their time. Dr. Katakar's trouble started when he took a prestigious new position in Prince George, British Columbia. He had worked in Tucson more than 30 years, but after less than a year in Canada, complaints started coming in. When a concern is raised about quality or safety, uh, you need to look at it. In the Cancer Agency report, Dr. Katakar is accused of harming patients by using the wrong treatments. And when colleagues warned him to stop, he didn't. The probe became a big story there. Details quickly came to light of an investigation. Investigators in Canada found 54 patients received, quote, unacceptable levels of care. Eight whose treatment may have resulted in, quote, severe and preventable harm. And the most serious accusations? Four patients whose deaths could have been, quote, potentially preventable and could have actually been caused by the unusual treatment from Dr. Katakar. News reports out of Canada say that's where Holly Hill comes in. In this report, her family says she had cancer and it got so bad, Dr. Katakar made an unapproved vaccine out of her own cancer cells. This was somebody trying to help a sick patient that wanted to fight. Her family says they are glad Dr. Katakar experimented on Holly because it could have been her only chance. But the Cancer Agency investigation says Katakar used a, quote, untested, discredited treatment. In Canada, Dr. Bert Kelly says Katakar is a good, caring doctor and a friend. But the rules exist for a reason. It's vital not to offer false hope to people. And we have all these protocols that we follow. But it's also just as vital not to offer no hope to people. Dr. Katakar says he now worked part-time here at a clinic near Orange Grove and La Choya. He did not want to answer our questions on camera, but he did tell me this. Holly Hill knew the risks and agreed to the unusual vaccine. Her husband backs him up. He knew he could get in trouble for it, but he knew that he couldn't wait to, um, to administer the treatment just because of how aggressive and, uh, and, uh, and uh, bad her cancer was. I'm trying to reach Dr. Katakar. Can you help me do that? Dr. Katakar admits making the vaccine for Holly, but as far as the other 53 patients, he says he did not use unapproved drugs, just drugs the government in British Columbia does not want to pay for. The BC Cancer Agency says if drugs work, they'll pay for them. And the doctor who oversaw the Katakar investigation says a lot of cases where he broke the rules were not last ditch efforts to save desperate patients. It was a lot of pretty run in the mill stuff. Breaking the rules, putting patients' lives on the line, or just a money dispute with his bosses. Canadian officials say the case is closed for now, unless Dr. Katakar ever decides to come back. Now, Dr. Katakar never reported the Canadian investigation to authorities in Arizona, so patients here would not have been able to find out what happened there. Now that we're reporting on it, he tells me that he will tell Arizona regulators about what happened in Canada. Interesting report, Craig. Thank you.